Hi everyone, it's Krista and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, then welcome. And if you're not, hi again. So this is my channel. I love doing everything DIYs. I love doing Dollar Tree DIYs. I love doing thrift flips and I also love, love doing wreaths. So if you like what you see here, I would ask that you would please subscribe to my channel. You'd hit that red subscribe button down below and also Hit, hit me at the like button because I like to hear what you guys think and leave me a comment. Today is about leaves and flowers collab which is hosted by DIY from house to home and these are all the lovely ladies that are participating. So let's get into the DIY. So I am doing a wreath. It's all about leaves, right? So I'm going to do a fall wreath for you and I'm using all these picks that I got from Hobby Lobby. I actually got the um, Grapevine wreath also at Hobby Lobby and the Grapevine wreaths are only $4.99. This is a 14 inch, no I'm sorry, 10 inch and these are also um, the picks and the picks are 40% off right now. So you got to grab them while you can guys. And the first thing I'm going to do is I wanted to make my bow because I want to make sure I'm going where I'm going to place my bow before I start putting things into my grapevine. So this is my bow maker. It's called the Easy Bow Maker. I got it on Amazon. I will have it linked down below in my description um, box for you guys in case you're interested in purchasing one. But I do think that the um, craft stores sell these as well. But these are really cool. This is the only way I can make my bows because it's so easy to make with it. So what I did is I used some of this green burlap ribbon and now I'm also using this leaf ribbon. The green burlap ribbon was from Hobby Lobby and the leaf ribbon I believe um, might have been also from Hobby Lobby. And it's really pretty. I love this ribbon. And these were also 40% off. So really great deals. I also wanted to mention that down below in the description box, I'm going to have all the ladies who are participating. There will be a um, playlist. You just click on that link and it will take you to everyone else who is in this cool collab that we're doing. I can't wait to see what everybody comes up with. So I am just looping my little bow back and forth. This is so simple and then you just twist it and then you're going to turn it around and loop it back the other way. And then you're just going to leave a tail out. So I think I did three loops on each side for each one of the ribbons that I used. So very, very simple. And then once that is all done, I come in with a zip tie, I believe. But you could use floral wire. You can use a pipe cleaner, whatever you have on hand to... Um, you know, make that bow really tight because you want to be able to pull those loops without pulling your bow apart. So I use a zip tie most of the time and then I just uh, clip it off with my little wire clips and now I'm just going to fluff out my bow. So that's just taking the loops and kind of fluffing them out and pulling them a little bit and just making everything nice and open and fluffy so that your bow looks really nice. And this works really, really well for me. So if you're not good with making bows, my suggestion is to get the Easy Bow Maker. Um, there also is the Bow Dabra. I have that one too, but I like the Easy Bow Maker better. <laughs> I don't know why. It just seems to be easier for me to do these type of bows with them. So now after I get done fluffing my bow and everything, I take my grapevine wreath and I'm gonna place it and kind of place my base, which is going to be my leaves. And I'm just going to stick this whole leaf um, cluster that I have here right into my grapevine leaf. Now I am using hot glue. I have a hot glue. It's like a little pot. It's by Sherbonder. I also got that. No, actually, I didn't get that online. I got it on, I got it at Hobby Lobby. So, but you can purchase them online, but they were out of them. So I ended up purchasing mine at Hobby Lobby. And, um... I think it was 20 bucks or something like that. And you just dip your stem into the pot of glue and it's so much easier than using a glue gun when you're doing these type of reeds. And I do a lot of reeds, so that's why I purchased it. It was a good investment for me because um, I do lots of craft shows and I love making reeds and selling them. So 
yeah, I, I love my, my little skillet with my glue in it. And sorry I didn't show it on camera, but I can um, link a picture down below from Amazon so you guys could check it out. So what I'm doing now is I'm just dipping my leaves in the stems and then sticking them in my grapevine wreath. And I used the main clusters for the top and the bottom to start as my base. And then I clipped a couple leaves off of another cluster and I'm just kind of placing them in where there's like little holes and where I think it needs a little something. And now I'm gonna take this one and I'm gonna cut this one apart and I'm also gonna um, fill out the bottom as well. I'm going to leave the right side of my wreath open um, because you want that grapevine to kind of be exposed um, it looks really pretty when you do that. Like, I don't like hiding my whole grapevine wreath. I like I like it to be exposed so you could see it. I think it makes it look more rustic, more realistic, and that's what I love about these types of wreaths. So next, I'm going to be coming in after these leaves, and I get them all put in. I think I put my bow back on because then I want to um, start putting in the other things that I got. I got a really cute pumpkin pick, um, which is like this green rustic color right there. I love this pick. And yeah, these are all from Hobby Lobby. And now I'm just sticking it in to see where I want it to be actually at. And see, these little clusters make it so easy to make wreaths. Now, I believe this cluster was $3.99, but you get the 40% off, so you cannot beat that, guys, for making a wreath um, with, these, um, with this stuff. So it had a little berries on there and a little pine cone and some and it also had some leaves on there as well. And it just went really well with these leaves that I started as my base. Now they also have these beautiful sunflowers in different colors. And this color green went perfectly with the type of wreath I was doing. I went with the more neutral colors for this wreath. I like the rustic neutral color for wreaths. I also like the bright green color I mean the not bright green I meant to say bright orange colors I love those colors too and the reds I love it all but this is really super cute um and it kind of goes with everything so that's why I kind of like it and I stuck my little sunflower in after I dipped it in my little hot glue mix and now I'm going to come in with some of these um I also got these at Hobby Lobby they're all from Hobby Lobby I sorry I keep saying that but um <laughs> These are really cute. They're like little, I don't know what you call them. I think they're cottontails maybe. I don't know. Um, let me know in the comments below. <laughs> I might be saying the wrong one. I don't really know my my flowers that well, except a few of them I do know. But like these little things, I don't know. I just know that I like them a lot on my wreaths. And what I did is I'm going to stick them on the top and the bottom. And you can see I'm just kind of like building my area and how I want it to look. There is like no right or wrong way to do this. You just kind of want to stick it in areas and like make it look really full and pretty. And you don't want everything like in one area either. So that's kind of how I learned. And I learned just by watching others who have been doing this like for years. And it's just really simple um, to make your own wreath now. And now I have these little pine knots and pine cones that I'm going to stick in with some leaves. And that's going to make up kind of like some of my other little clusters in here. And then I'm now I'm deciding I'm going to come in with my bow because now I want to go in all the areas that have little holes and stuff. And I want to make sure that I fill those in. But I also want my bow to look fluffy and pretty on here as well. So what I did is I went through with a pipe cleaner and I went through the grapevine and I just attached my pipe cleaner to my bow and then fed it through the grapevine. And now I'm just going to turn it around and I'm just going to twist it really, really good so it stays in place. I also put a little bit of hot glue on it in the back as well to make sure that it stays in put in place. And then I just kind of stick it, the wires back into my wreath. And now I just keep fluffing up my bow. And I mess with this bow so many times in this video. It's ridiculous. But um, I like a fluffy bow. <laughs> and I really want the bow to look really good on here. So that's why I mess with it a lot. So anyway, now I'm going to give my um, bow some ducktails. So I'm just going to kind of like um, put them in half like that and then cut in an upwards direction. I don't know how else to explain it besides showing you. And next, I'm going to come in with some more of these 
pine nuts and um and um pine cones and i'm going to stick those in the areas where i think it needs something and then you'll also see me come in with those little berries that you see over there on the left hand side and i'm going to stick a few of those in here as well like kind of behind my bow on the top and the bottom right there and yeah and that's it i mean i don't do anything else i kept it really simple yet super pretty and i just love the way this turned out and I you guys gotta let me know what you think um, but this was all about flowers and leaves for autumn and I think that making a wreath is is pretty good <laughs> with that so um, it's a good way to show the different colors for fall um, and it doesn't always have to be your regular ordinary colors I know there's a lot of blues and pinks out this year that are super pretty for fall as well and I can't wait to make those wreaths as well because I think it just looks super pretty look at that so cool I love it and oh I can't did I come in with more of these no I don't think I did oh maybe I did I don't remember sorry <laughs> but um yeah so like I was saying super pretty super easy to make I know a lot of people are just discouraged with making grapevine wreaths but I don't know why because I think they just are so pretty and so rustic so and they look the realest to me as far as wreaths go so um yeah i was trying to get that off of there and it was really thick um so i had to really pull with it but there it is all done guys so here come your close-ups like i said don't forget to check out the other ladies i will have the playlist down below and as always if you're not subscribed i would love to have you just hit that red subscribe button and I will see you guys again next time for the next collaboration or anything else that comes up. And there it is on my door. I, it just came out so pretty, guys. I love it. And I want to thank you guys for watching. And as always, remember, stay crafty. Bye.